the reverse crunch. I'm going to send you a video of because I still can't do it. I don't know. I'm really trying to like think of my abs when I'm doing it, but it's just... Okay, Olivia, I'm going to try to help you through this reverse crunch. So it's very common for people to struggle with the reverse crunch. Uh, for most people, their abs just aren't quite strong enough to pull their hips on the rib cage. So we're going to try to just progress the motions. I want to see if we can get your abs strong enough to work the first 10% of the range. And that's how we're going to practice this thing. And once we get you strong enough to get past the first 10%, then we're going to try for the next 5% or the next 10%. And we're going to gradually strengthen the range of motion to the point where hopefully you can do a full reverse crunch. That's going to be our goal. You're going to bend your hips to 90 degrees in relation to your trunk. And we've got 90 degrees in knee bend. And then we're going to tighten your abs first. Your abs are gonna literally just barely lift your hips off of the bench and then back down here. You're gonna tighten first, tighten your abs, barely up, hold, barely down, pause, barely up, hold, barely down, pause. That's all we're gonna do. So we're gonna work that first 10%. And I think it's a good way to do it anyway, but if we can get your abs strong enough to barely pull on your pelvic bone and lift it off the bench, then that's gonna be a step in the right direction. So let's try that.